And welcome to the Cedar Falls Regular City Council meeting this June 18, 2018. I now call this meeting to order and ask for a roll call from Madam Clerk, please. Miller. Here. DeBoer. Here. Cruz. Here. Blanford. Here. Dara. Here. Wheeland. Here. Green. Here. All members present, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Item C, is there a motion to approve the minutes of the regular meeting June 4th? So moved. Second. Motion second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries. Any agenda revisions, Madam Clerk? I have no agenda revisions, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Moving on to item E is a special order of business. E1 is a public hearing on the city's FY1819 consolidated annual plan for the Community Development Block Grant, or CDBG, and Home Program. Is there a motion to receive and file the proof of publication? I'll move. Second. The motion second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Any written objections filed with the city clerk? I have no written objections on file, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Before public comments, I'd like to have, I believe, Director uh, Stephanie talk about this particular public hearing. Yes. The annual action plan is the detailed document that we have to prepare every year. Uh, we prepare that in accordance with the five-year plan, but it sets forth what programs and activities and what funding level uh, for that the current year that we would be in based on what we're awarded from uh, HUD for that, for that year. So that's what we have in front of you tonight. Um, with activities consistent with the five-year plan, yet uh, uh, proposing how to utilize the funds that were awarded um, in this uh, year for community development block grant funds. Uh, that award amount uh, is $248,026, and uh, the plan um, proposes to allocate 20% of that, those funds toward administrative costs, which is uh, permitted, 15% toward service agencies, uh, and we listed those in pages 11 through 12 of the annual action plan. And then the remainder of the funds to be used toward um, rehabilitation programs for homes as well as repair programs for homes. So uh, staff is recommending that we hold the public hearing and subject to any uh, public comments we receive, we would insert those into the plan and ask that it be adopted for this upcoming year. Thank you, Stephanie. Uh, anyone here uh, dis uh, <coughs> desiring public comments on this public hearing? Hearing and seeing none, I declare the hearing closed. Item two is a resolution approving and authorizing submission of the city's FY 1819 consolidated annual plan for the CDBG and home program. Is there a motion, please? I move, Mr. Mayor. Second. Motion, second. Any further comments from council? This requires a, a verbal roll call vote, please. Miller? Aye. DeBoer? Aye. Cruz? Aye. Blanford? Aye. Dara? Aye. Whelan? Aye. Green? Aye. I'll voting aye, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> Thank you. Item F is old business. F1 is consider ordinance 2926, providing that the general property tax is levied and collected each year on all property located within the South Cedar Falls urban renewal area in the city of Cedar Falls be approved. It's upon its third and final consideration. Is there a motion, please? So moved. Second. second. Motion second. Any further questions or comments from council? Requires a roll call vote, please. Miller? Aye. DeBoer? Aye. Cruz? Aye. Blanford? Aye. Dara? Aye. Whelan? Aye. Green? Aye. All, all voting aye, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Item two is passed ordinance 2927, amending chapter 26 of the Code of Ordinances, establishing a 35 mile per hour speed limit on the Green Hill Road extension. This is again as a third and final consideration. Is there a motion, please? So moved. Motion second. Any further comments? <clears throat> Roll call vote, please. Miller? Aye. DeBoer? Aye. Cruz? Aye. Blamford? Aye. Dara? Aye. Whelan? Aye. Green? Aye. All voting aye, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Item G is new business. G1 is a consent calendar. The following items will be acted upon by a voice vote on a single motion without separate discussion. Unless someone from the council or public requests an item to be polled to be discussed. Anyone from the council? From the public? I'll summarize briefly. Item uh, A is approve the following recommendations of the mayor relative to the appointment of members to boards and commissions. That includes Jeremy uh, Roselle and Mary Sue Bartlett to the Art and Culture Board. Susan Langen, Andrew Morris, Keyshaw Randall, and Jeffrey Zappel to the Human Rights Commission, and David Sturch to the Metropolitan Bus Board. Appreciate those folks, as always, serving our great city. Item B is receive and file a committee of the whole minutes of June 4th, where we covered water quality initiatives, streetscape project update, FY19 cash management report, and bills and payroll. Item C is receive and file the administration committee minutes of June 5th. D is receive and file bids received for the sale of 6.585 million general obligation bonds. E is received and filed the bids received for the 2018 Public Sidewalk and Pedestrian Trail Improvement Project. 
F is approving special related events. That does include Sturgis Fall celebration this weekend. G is approving permits, and H is approving permits and licenses. Is there a motion to approve the consent calendar? So moved. Second. Motion second. Any further discussion from council? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Item two is a resolution calendar. These items will be acted upon by a roll call vote in a single motion without separate discussion. Does someone from the council or public request that an item be pulled for such discussion? Is there any such request from council? I'd like to pull item I. Item I. Anyone else from council? Public? I'll summarize the resolution counter minus item I. Yeah. Item A is a resolution directing the sale of $6.5 million in general obligation bonds. B through F are resolutions approving a few of the city's insurance agreements and policies. G is approving and authorizing execution of a client authorization to bind coverage relative to insurance brokerage and risk management services. H is resolution approving and authorizing execution of two claim service contracts. J and K are res resolutions approving and authorizing execution of agreements with the College Hill Partnership relative to an economic development grant and SMID funds. L and M are resolutions approving and authorizing execution of agreements for the Cedar Falls Community Main Street relative to economic development grant and SMID funds. Items N through R are resolutions approving and authorizing execution of agreement for banking services, processing services, office supplies, purchase of uniforms, janitorial products. S is resolution de designating certain streets for operation of off-road utility vehicles for the duration of one year. T is approving and accepting the low bid for the public sidewalk and pedestrian trail project. U is approving and authorizing execution of a contracted education proposal with Hartman Reserve Nature Center for public outreach and education programs. V is approving and authorizing execution of a change of work order relative to the 2018 street construction project. W is approving a site plan for facade improvements on Main Street. X is approving a professional service agreement for grant administration and technical services for housing projects. Y is a resolution approving and authorizing execution of a memorandum of understanding relative to preparation of a REAP grant application. And Z is approving five occupancy permits prior to the acceptance of the public improvements in the Arbor's third edition. Is there a motion to approve the resolution calendar minus item I? So moved. Second. Motion second. Any further discussion from council? Requires a roll call vote, please. Miller. Aye. DeBoer. Aye. Cruz. Aye. Blanford. Aye. Dara. Aye. Whelan. Aye. Green. Aye. All voting aye, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Item I uh, re reads approving and authorizing execution of an agreement with the uh, excuse me, with the GVCA relative to an uh, economic development grant. Is there a motion, please? So moved. Motion and second. Any further discussion from council? From the public? Requires a roll call vote, please. Miller? Aye. DeBoer? Aye. Cruz? Aye. Blanford? Aye. Dara? Abstain. Whelan? <coughs> aye. Green? Aye. Six. Voting aye, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Motion does pass. Item H, is there a motion to allow bills and payroll? Motion to approve. Second. Motion second. This too requires a roll call vote, please. Miller? Aye. DeBoer? Aye. Cruz? Aye. Blanford? Aye. Dara? Aye. Whelan? Aye. Green? Aye. All voting aye, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Item I, does council have any items for referral? Hearing and seeing none, move to item J. Does council have any updates? Hearing and seeing none, item K is executive session to discuss property acquisition per Iowa Code section 2151J to discuss the purchase or sale of particular real estate following the public forum. Is there a motion, please? Mm -hmm. Second. Motion second. Requires a roll call vote, please. Miller? Aye. DeBoer? Aye. Cruz? Aye. Blanford? Aye. Dara? Aye. Whelan? Aye. Green? Aye. All voting aye, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Item L is public forum. Speakers will have one opportunity to speak for up to five minutes on topics germane to city business. Is anyone here from the public this evening would like to speak? Come on up. Name and address, if you would. Welcome. Good evening. My name is Penny Pop. I live at 4805 South Main Street here in Cedar Falls. First off, I want to say a big thank you for the wee little sign for the El Dorado Heights Park. It fits the character of the neighborhood well. It's understated, small, and most of all, it's spelled correctly. <laughs> so it's highly appreciated. Last Tuesday evening, the city held a public information meeting about the Green Hill Road corridor. 
Currently, a traffic study is being undertaken in preparation for improvements. Luckily, the announcement was covered in the Courier, along with many subsequent articles on all the news that's fit to print. Due to a small snaf snafu by the city, many property owners in the corridor did not receive written notification. This was the first of three meetings. In the professional service agreement between the consultant and the city, the first kickoff meeting for the neighborhood, which occurred last week, was to gather public opinion. Now, if you've missed this meeting, the city wants you <coughs> to participate. They are in need of comments, concerns, problems, or what really works along your stretch of Green Hill. The city needs your information to help plan possible temporary upgrades and more permanent solutions. Now, what are the improvements that we need now? How about five years from now? How about 20 years from now? What are you expecting? Your comments or concerns give the city one more piece of the information to effectively plan for the future. Try to craft your remarks with as much detail as possible and email our city engineer by June 29th. I will note here that comments will be continued to be accepted after this date. Now, everybody can participate in this, and it's really easy. Now, because of this small snafu, I thought it would be best to ask the city now about information I was not able to find on this project. I know that two parts of this project, the traffic study and improvements to the Green Hill and Main, Main intersection, appeared in the CIP, projects number 88 and 80, respectively. What I can't locate is the city's estimate or funding avenues for the whole Green Hill, Green Hill corridor. Although this information may not be available in the near term, the residents are interested in the process. No vote was taken on the University Avenue project by the residents of Cedar Falls, and I am hoping that the Green Hill corridor project will not follow the same path. As the residents prepare for the next public information meeting, I hope the city and consultant comes ready with new information and exciting plans for the area, and I look forward to seeing what's next. Thanks for your time. Thank you, Ms. Pop. Appreciate it. Any comments or questions from council, the previous speaker? Mayor, just one thing. Uh, the speaker had mentioned uh, finding the funding sources. Those are all listed within our CIP. I don't have those handy right now, but we can get those. Very good. And it is online. Thank you. Any further public comments this evening? Hearing and seeing none, we'll now adjourn to executive session. Thank you.